guys, it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. I have another homeschooling video for you guys today and I asked you in a day in the life video a few weeks ago if you'd be interested in seeing a workbook only type of video showing you kind of some of the workbooks we either have used or are using that you guys can use and pretty much everything we have here all you would need is math and history. This is everything else. So this is just to give you options. This is just to show you some things that we have used or liked in the past or are using right now. And um, also for people who specifically say, I'm on a budget, I can't afford some of the more expensive curriculum. What else can I do? This is kind of help all of those people in all of those different categories. Starting out on this end here, if you notice, it's all Evan Moore and that is not by accident. They are an amazing company that sells really good quality workbooks that are very comprehensive and very inexpensive. And this is not sponsored by anybody. I have bought Evan Moore products for years and um, I love them. You guys know if you've watched my homeschooling videos, I've talked about them for a long time. And basically this is Evan Moore's writing program. And I think what I'm probably gonna do, if you guys are interested, is do a separate video about their writing program because I get a lot of questions about that. I get a lot of questions about people that are trying to find a good writing program. And I'll, I'll be the first to admit, writing is one of the subjects that we have had the hardest time finding a good fit for, for both girls. Um, but so far, what I have used of this one, we're really enjoying. It is extremely, extremely gentle. So if you've got a reluctant writer or you've got a child that's just not very good at writing, can't come up with ideas, doesn't really understand the process of writing, this is probably going to be perfect. So basically it's set up where you have four days of activities that literally take, you know, five, maybe 10 minutes. And then on the fifth day you have a writing prompt where they, they write about something that they did during the week. And that's why I was thinking about doing a separate video, like five minute writing, you know, five minute painless writing. So if you guys want to see a little bit more of a glimpse into this, let me know. This is actually the main like teacher's manual. There is a student manual that you can purchase that goes along with it and that way each student has their own copy of the worksheets and then you have a copy of uh, the teacher's instructions and then um, what the child is seeing on there so you don't have to have the student workbook but i think it really helps because if you don't that means your child is going to be working out of this book and they're going to be writing on all of these pages when your instructions and things are on the back so that's why i went ahead and got um the, the kids, the kids uh, workbook as well, but you don't have to. Pretty much every workbook they have is around $20 or less, so definitely a great value. So check out the daily trait writing and let me know in the comments if you wanna see a video specifically about their writing program. Okay, the next thing is vocabulary. I've talked about this for a while. I think we've used it now. This is our second or third year. Um, and basically it is a simple traditional approach to vocabulary. You have 36 weekly units, so a total of 144 words. And there's a test at the end of each week. They have four words that they work on throughout the week and then they have a review and then a test. So we do a word Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We do the review on Friday and then she'll take her test. So it's simple. I mean, it's not overcomplicated. That's one thing I like about the Evan Moore workbooks is they're very to the point. They're very simple. They're very traditional, which is what I appreciate because that's the way that I learned vocabulary. That's the way that I learned spelling, which we're going to talk about next. So I really appreciate that. So that is the vocabulary that we use and that we love. Spelling also we've used now for quite a while. And again, it's a traditional approach. You have a word list at the beginning of the week, um, and then you have a worksheet for each day that uses those words. So word meaning, dictation, uh, filling in the missing letters here, dividing the words into syllables, looking for misspelled words. So it's all different activities. It's not the same activities every week. So I like that because what we were using before was pretty much the same every single week. And this is different. There's variation every week, which keeps her from getting bored, but also gives her nice practice using the words all different types of ways while working on syllables and correcting and making things plural. So I just really love this and I highly recommend their spelling. Something new we have tried is their science because a lot of people have asked me about science and uh, grammar, which we're going to get to in a minute about maybe some more inexpensive options. And I really didn't know what to tell them because we were using something that was a little bit more expensive. So 
I wanted to try this out. We were at a really busy stage in life where I didn't have time to teach uh, English and science at that point. And so that was the perfect time for me to try these and see how they were and let you guys know about them. And of course, I love them. This is the Evan Moore Skill Sharpeners Science. And from what I have used of it so far, we are really enjoying it. It is very basic, which is kind of what I like about it. It doesn't overcomplicate things. It is not too much information, especially at this age, when it's harder for kids to remember some of these bigger terms or bigger concepts. It's perfect, I think, the perfect amount of information. So you start the week out with a different topic. So there's weathering and erosion, earthquakes, waves in the water, digital waves. Uh, we've talked about um, the ear, the human eye, um, skin and stuff already. Uh, so lots of different topics that are covered. You have some words at the beginning of each lesson and then a little paragraph, a couple paragraphs to read, some questions to answer. And then you have another worksheet the next day where you read the information and then do the little activity. It's two more worksheets dealing with weathering and erosion and then you have an activity. So it could be five days worth of science. If you want to just do one page a day, you could do more than one page. You could use this as kind of a springboard to do your own unit studies about weathering and erosion or whatever the topic is. For us, I like this. This is really basic. It's just what we need to cover for science, especially if you are on a budget or um, you don't have a lot of extra time to teach science, then this is a perfect option for that. The next book for grammar, and same thing I told you about science, a lot of people were asking me, what can I do that is inexpensive for grammar? And we were using a more expensive grammar program, and I didn't really have an answer for you guys. So I thought while I was trying the science, I would try the grammar, and I'm loving this too. This has been really, really nice to have a little switch for a little while and just go back and review some of the basics, but I love the way this is set up as well. This is the Evan Moore Skill Sharpeners Grammar. Every lesson, you're gonna be working with two different types of grammar topics. So in this case, it's gonna be pronouns and commas. So this entire week, we're gonna be talking about commas and pronouns. So you read the story and you read the rules and you answer the questions about how many pronouns. You have five worksheets that deal with that topic for the week and then you have an application at the end. So you're gonna be doing something a little bit more involved with whatever you learned that week. And then you have a review. So I really like how much practice there is with this because in some grammar programs that I've seen or even some that I've used, there's just not enough practice before you move on to something else. So I like that you get so many worksheets that go along with whatever you're learning that it really gives you a lot of practice. And I love also just the color. I, I didn't mention that in the science, but I like the full color workbooks. I think that makes it more fun. I know some people say, that can be distracting and that definitely depends on your child, but I think it makes it more fun. And um, so I'm all about color workbooks. So this is another one. If you guys wanna see a little bit more of an in-depth with, um, I'd be happy to do it. I definitely think the writing one would be a good, a good one to do it with as well. So let me know in the comments. Okay, two more. I've talked about this one before too. This is a spectrum word study in phonics. This is for some child, this is for a child who has already learned to read probably, but you still want to keep the concepts fresh in their minds. The syllables, vowel sounds, all of the things that they learn when they're reading that you may not want them to forget about, this is the book for that. So um, base words, inflectional endings and comparative endings, compound words, suffixes, prefixes, syllables. There's all different types of concepts here that they're going to be learning when they learn to read but also a little bit of grammar mixed in. Figures of speech, analogies, um, guide words in the dictionary, entry words, word origins. So a bunch of different topics covered in this workbook. We've used it for years. Um, there's only one more level after this and we're almost done with this one. So um, definitely look into that if you're looking for some extra word practice or your child has already learned to read but you wanna kind of keep them fresh with those skills, highly recommend this workbook. And speaking of reading, comprehension is so important. And this is something, again, we've used for years. This is the Harcourt Family Learning Reading Skills, grade five. There is only one more level after this. So um, obviously we'll have to get something else, but basically it's just working on comprehension. You know, reading a paragraph, reading a, a passage of information. She's almost done with this book. So that's why we're at the very end, um, which right now we're working on um, fact versus inference. But basically, when you're working through the comprehension section, you have little passages. Usually they are nonfiction passages, which I like, and then they go through and answer the question about what they read. So I think that's really important. It's not just important to know how to read. It's also 
equally important to understand what you read. And I think that's why this is really important and why we have used it for years. And it's super duper inexpensive, like six, seven, maybe $8. Um, so I highly recommend this. Those are basically all the workbooks that we are using or have used that I would recommend to you guys. I hope it was helpful. And so many people emailed me and would say, well, what about grade this? What about grade that? I know these two in particular go up to grade six. Um, and then all these other ones go up to quite a few grades. So if you've got anybody in elementary or even middle school in some cases, there should be a workbook for your child's level um, that I think would be a good fit. So let me get, let me know if you guys want to see any more of these in, in more close detail. If you want to see that five minute writing uh, video, let me know about that in the comments. But I really hope it was helpful because like I said, I know curriculum can be expensive and I know some people that are homeschooling right now, they don't intend to homeschool long term. They just need something to get through that's that's high quality, um, but they just need something to get through until public schools open back up or their child can go back to public school. Or maybe you just started homeschooling and you want to just kind of dip your toe in the water, start out easy, start out basic, don't spend a whole lot of money, don't spend a whole lot of time. All of these are perfect options and as you can see, we love Evan Moore. We've used quite a few of their subjects for years, and every time I try something new of theirs, I'm never disappointed. So that's always a good place to start. And if you go to their website, you can look and do flip throughs of every single workbook they have. Um, so that way you can really see every page up close and decide, is it a good fit for us? Which level do we need? All of that stuff you'll be able to figure out on their website. They also sell them on Amazon, so you can get them usually in two days. So highly recommend those. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Make sure you check out my homeschooling playlist. It's linked for you in the description box. Every homeschool video I've, I've ever made is in that playlist. So other curriculum videos, curriculum choices, homeschool reviews, homeschool curriculum reviews, um, homeschool day in the life videos, all different types of stuff are in that playlist. So make sure you check it out. Don't forget to subscribe before you head out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.